this is Kibby, and today I'm going to be doing that uh, five knives that make me happy thing that Uncommon EDC and Ashton's EDC were talking about. And we're going to go in no particular order. We did switch up the background. This is actually uh, my garage. We're uh, at my workbench right now. <laughs> This is actually that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, second haversack that I've been working on. I just really don't want to stitch it. <laughs> that takes a long time. But anyway, um, again, in no particular order, let's go on ahead. Um, let's go with this one. This is the Surge. Panchenko design, uh, just mini slip joint cleaver. I, I, I forget what he calls it, but it's something simple like that. Um, I got it in green. Uh, <laughs> I put this uh, matte bot blackened uh, brass bead on there so that I can hold on to it and open it one-handed if I wanted to make it a little bit easier this is m390 so you know it's just very very ridiculous tiny tiny cleaver <laughs> honestly it's just for cutting cigars that's all it's for <laughs> but it's so little and so fun that uh well we made it onto this list we'll put that up there number two it's a knife that I've talked about multiple times. Um, is my Benchmade Griptilian that uh, my girlfriend at the time uh, got engraved with me for me uh, with Annabelle Lee, just a section of Annabelle Lee. I don't know how well that can comes through, but anyway, I really like Poe and. Uh, I really, really like uh, Annabelle Lee, the poem. But yeah, this one is in 154CM. And this was a replacement of another 154CM that, uh, <clears throat> oh, had a blacked out blade, black coated blade with the Marine Corps emblem right on the blade face. That one got used and got lost. And this one has also. <laughs> been well used and gotten lost multiple times but it's always come back gotta love it let's see let's see number three let's go with this koala tree thing um this was a knife i got from battle box on a sale i think it's called the haswell i don't know but i really like it as a carving knife and just as a, a general outdoorsy knife it's uh pretty dang sharp this thing's annoying and definitely need to do something with it but um while i'm carving the use of it while i'm carving outside in the heat but in the shade um flies like you know flies and bugs and whatever like to come on and and try and drink my sweat and stuff this acts as a uh, horse or cow tail, I guess. And I just slap the area and they leave me alone. But this is 1095, pretty sure. Doesn't strike a ferro rod for crap because the spine is rounded. But uh, it's got a nice raw, <laughs> raw finish on the blade. Um, and it was a uh, convex grind that I've tried to, you know, shave down because it's gotten used carving. But uh, fits the hand real nice and a really, really good worker knife. I like it a lot. Number three is a knife that I've never shown on here before and is part of the reason why we're at my workbench. But that is my Al Stolman round knife. 
of every knife that I own, if you combine all of the times that they've been in close contact enough to maybe cut me, this one beats them all. <laughs> and uh, it'll, it'll do some damage. This thing is crazy sharp and sees a lot of use. Definitely, definitely love using this knife, even if it is uh, a little sketchy at times. But uh, there's that one. So that's number, well, no, we're on four. Number five is a knife that was also in the garage that we've also talked about before. Oh, can't even get into frame. Oh, still not. There we go. Here we are. That's my, uh, oh, that glare. That's my Foster Brothers chicken cleaver um, that I use as a yard machete or just a, a brush machete. This thing's a tank, man. Works crazy well. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's about 100 years old. You had to have the handles replaced. Got some... Osage Orange on there from a blacksmith buddy of mine up in Omaha. Love it, love it, love it. Still need to make a sheath for it. Right now it's just hanging out. But, uh, yeah. So that's five. And a couple honorable mentions that uh, have kind of... This one's a little bit, bit retired in the pocket. Because, uh, I don't know, just just some things, you know, I'm not mega enthusiastic about this partial serration anymore. Came in handy when I was young and cutting stupid stuff all the time. But now I prefer, uh, you know, straighter edges and different steels. So, honorable mention number one is my Benchmade Redoubt with my Applied Weapons Tech Scales. Really, really love this knife. It's just a champ. And number two is my newest purchase. <laughs> my Spyderco PM2 and Crewwear and Micarta. In the short time that I've had this, this has already uh, come way in handy. Love using both of these, honestly, and they kind of take the place of this one. They're all about the same size. Weird how that works. <laughs> but yeah. So, let me know what are five knives that make you happy. These are my five. And, uh, well, I guess I went to seven, didn't I? Oops. You want to throw hammers in, too? Here we go. Here's here's a hammer. Here's a hammer that makes me happy. It's technically a mall, but what are you gonna do? This thing uses a been used a bunch, seen a lot of action. Anyway, now I'm just rambling, showing off workbench crap. Um, hope you guys have a good one. Peace.